pretty good. So yeah, this morning has been just full of like adulting. I had to call the doctor. Um, I had a doctor's appointment this morning that I had to reschedule because I can't leave Wilson alone. I mean, I could, I could put a cone on him, but I, he hates it. So I feel really bad to do that. I literally put it on him for like 45 minutes while I was like showering and stuff. And he hated me for it. Like, sorry, bud. Um, by the way, this is the line one beach waver that I used last week on my hair and I'm just doing this again this week because well I was gonna curl it and I think I left my curling iron at work so here we are so yeah and then I had to call insurance um because from when I went and got my birth control replaced they wanted me to pay two almost like two thousand dollars for a one and a half inch piece of plastic that's just like shoved in my arm like a piercing you know and I was like no thank you no thank you so I called insurance Apparently, nothing has been done about it yet, so now I'm just going to wait for a new bill, thankfully. So, I'm like, I am not paying that much money, like I said, for a one and a half piece of, piece of plastic in my arm. Also, I woke up with a beautiful zit on my face, but it's okay. It'll go away pretty quick. And then, let's see, I've started laundry. I've had... A cup of coffee with the bottle proteins collagen peptides in it um just like 20 grams of protein and i've had an alani new the chocolate flavor their protein shake which was really good by the way um i showed you all that in my last vlog and that was also 20 grams of protein so i've done pretty well as far as like protein goes i really need to eat like actual food though i haven't done that yet today just because i've been like doing things and busy and when i'm busy eating is the last thing that I think about. I'm literally one of those people, it's like a hassle for me to eat if I'm like in the middle of something. Like I literally hate doing that. I don't know why. I eat to live, not live to eat, even though I do love food, like really love food. And I really love trying new recipes and stuff like that too. But sometimes it's just a hassle. And when it's just me at home, I don't wanna cook myself a whole meal. like a whole meal is just like a lot and then I have to do the dishes after and I just don't want to do that which I still need to do from this weekend we made bacon as a snack at like 9 30 last night I mean it's good who doesn't love bacon yeah I don't know what we're doing um tonight for dinner Actually, I'm gonna do the taco bowls tonight for dinner. So, I will show y'all all of that later. Um, right now, I'm just gonna finish my hair and then Wilson, stop licking. Please, stop. <sighs> That's why he's got two stitches missing. <laughs> Cause he won't stop. But he's just licking his wrist that time, thankfully. He's a constant licker. I don't know why. He always has been that way. He has allergies and stuff like that too, but like he gets an allergy shot every six months or whatever we feel like he needs it really. We don't really keep a legit schedule. Um, we just notice if he starts itching, like, hey, we probably need to give him his allergy shot. Obviously the vet does that, not us, but you know what I mean. Um, but other than that, that's really about it for today. So yeah, taco bowls. Wilson. Wilson's actually doing really, really great. Um, honestly, too good. So that's why, like, it's, it kind of stresses me out because, like, oh, yesterday he took off running to try to meet the neighbor's dog. And I'm like, okay, I just let you out here for two seconds because I had to grab one bag of groceries that was left in my car. Dude took off running, sprinted to the neighbors and I'm like oh my god his knee luckily he was fine I mean he was a little limpy after that but I just gave him his trousers down keep him calm because he was unhinged yesterday he was like on another level and I just don't know why but I think he's just tired of he's so tired of laying around 
He wants to play so bad. He even jumped up on the bed yesterday, which really made me nervous. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, like, I'm glad you're doing so well. But I also really need you to chill out. So that way, maybe we don't have to get it redone. Because, God, if we have to get this redone again. <sighs> I will cry. But I think he's okay. He's just a little frustrating these days. He's not listening because he's tired of doing nothing. But yeah, um, so he, this is actually his third knee surgery. I don't know if I've mentioned that or not. So we, first time he had it, we took him to this guy in Fayetteville. No, Pulaski, sorry, Pulaski, Tennessee. And he was like, yeah, I can do this surgery for $800. We're like, okay, cool. $800 sounds great. Um, definitely better than the 4,200 that the next one was. And come to find out, like, so after like nine months uh, after the surgery, Wilson was still limping. He was still having issues, all of this stuff. And every time we take him back to the doctor for a checkup, he'd just be like, oh, it's arthritis. Oh, it's arthritis. Which, yes, I get, like, that's a major trauma um, to his joint. So, yeah, there's going to be a risk of arthritis. But at the same time, like, he was only two at the time. And I just, we just felt like there was something just not right. So, we took him to our local vet here in Athens. And that doctor basically like honestly got super angry at the appointment because he's like this is malpractice like come to find out um when we took him to get his surgery or to get redone on his that was his right leg he just did his left leg this last time but yeah his right leg um the surgery was not done right at all and his meniscus was left in pieces so like the arthritis that he was saying, yeah, it could have been, I mean, there was some arthritis in there too, but like, it wasn't arthritis at all. His knee didn't even like look shaped right, to be honest. Kind of stuck out. So yeah, he was just constantly in pain for like nine months and we didn't know. And we just felt terrible about that afterwards. So yeah, I will never, never go back to that doctor in Pulaski. I guess he's good for like shots, teeth cleanings and stuff like that, that are just like, outrageously expensive these days at the vet but not a, not a major surgery dude at all would never take him back there honestly for anything but it's frustrating so yeah he's the ten thousand dollar dog and i say that because he's got two metal knees now and that cost us let's see 800 the first time um, including like surgery, medications, all that stuff. Um, 4,200 the next time. That included surgery and medications and follow-ups and all that stuff. Actually, I think follow-ups were extra. And then this time around, I think it was another 42 and it'll probably go up to 5,000 by the time he's done with all the checkups and everything. It's just lovely. But they say it's very common that if they tear one ACL in meniscus, they're probably going to tear the other one within the next like six months to a year after because they're putting so much strain on the good leg that they have while they're trying to like figure out everything with the bad leg and the surgery and getting better and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's loads of fun. Loads of fun. But like I said, he's doing really, really, really well. Um, I feel like he's like, I've been through this so many times. I know what to do. But the problem is, is like, yeah, he does know what to do and he's not doing it. So we have had to put the cone on him more times. Actually, last time at all, we didn't have to. Like he left it alone. This time around, I don't even know. He's so hard-headed. He's so like me and his dad. It's not even funny. We were both so hard-headed. Like the type of people that's like, don't do that. Yeah, we're still going to do it and find out for ourselves why we should have done that. I don't know why but we just don't listen and he doesn't listen so it's fitting I guess we rubbed off on him and then yeah all right hair's done ish I don't like that piece what is that doing Sometimes these front pieces just don't like to cooperate and I hate that. 
That's why it gotta be difficult. Okay, that's better. Ish. It'll be fine for today. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool for a second. I lost my hair. Oh, hairspray's right here. <laughs> Redken Triple Tech 32. I typically would not use this hairspray um, for this, but it's all that I have at home. So, little light mist, light mist of it. And I feel like I'm like eating hairspray. Okay, and then I always like to put this quick tease or a texture spray. Or if you're a dry shampoo fan, you can totally do dry shampoo as well, but like right here. So that way I have some good volume. And it makes it look kind of messy. And I like my hair messy. I'm not a... Unless I just want it like super straight. I'm I, Even then, like I kind of like it messy when it's kind of straight. I don't like it perfect. I've never been like a perfect hair person. <sighs> Quick teas actually taste really good, but it's so sweet. <coughs> That's disgusting. Okay, and it's officially my favorite time of the day, which is dinner time. Um, we are having the sweet potato taco bowls tonight with the ground beef and the black beans and the cilantro. Actually, I'm gonna make cilantro lime rice with that too. So that way it's all like good and flavorful. So five out of five, is it a five out of five? It's a five out of five. Okay. So guess who found their curling iron in their car? Me. Why is my life so disorganized? Okay. Just about every aspect except for my like fridge and pantry is disorganized but yet even that's disorganized right now so like you know just living life on the edge um anyways so this is my hair looks like today after crimping it yesterday honestly it's been super super hot um this week i think the highs been like the 95s i don't know 92 something like that but it feels hotter so last night even though we had the ac and the fan on full blast i still kind of sweated in my sleep just gross you wake up feeling gross and my hair looks gross so since i wanted to curl it yesterday anyway and i found my curling iron in my car we're gonna curl my hair together okay so i've already done the bottom pieces um but i'm gonna go in and do the top a little bit and then i'll time lapse everything else or at least the other side because honestly this is a pretty quick process it only takes me like five to ten minutes at the most to curl my hair but it just was not cute. But yeah, you wanna turn once, drop out, turn, drop out, turn, and then pull through so your ends are straighter. I personally really like my ends a lot, or most of the time straighter than a straight up like curl curl. It looks more beachy, it looks more natural, and um, it's not like pageant looking, which there's nothing wrong with pageant looking curls. I'm just not that kind of girl. Never have been. Do I think that those women are absolutely beautiful? Yes, I do. Um, and I respect them for what they do, but I could never, <laughs> I could never like walk out on stage on a bikini. Um, no, ma'am. Perform a talent. What is my talent? I do hair for a living. That is my talent. I have no other talents in life. Well, I'm kind of, I mean, well, I guess I, I could, I can kind of like draw, but like not like, I'm not, you know, I'm not great, but that's, and I can cook. That's about it. That's about. So this is what it looks like when it gets done. I'm going to brush it out. Oh, she a little static cute today. That's okay. And that's it. It's already got hairspray and stuff in it from yesterday. So I'm not going to bother to spray that again. I'm just not. I don't like a lot of product in my hair. I like my hair to feel pretty soft and clean. And it still feels that way, but it looks so much better. So, yeah. Also, this lovely shirt. I'm obsessed with it. It's from uh, Princess Polly Boutique. Um, this is actually a size small, but it's made. Back up a little bit so you can see. It's made to be oversized. I do have shorts on underneath. Um, and a sports bra.
so this morning I'm just sitting here sitting on my couch right and my power all of a sudden goes out and I was like okay like panic immediately set in because like we've had a lot of storms here okay excuse my broken nail as well um we've had a lot of storms here lately and like some people like have been without power for a couple days and there's even people in my neighborhood that still don't have power back and um come to find out the power outage this morning was all caused by a snake so thank you to that snake for the panic that attacked me this morning because i was like well how am i one gonna get out of my garage two i'm gonna go buy a clock now that runs on batteries because I don't own a clock in my house. My phone was almost dead. <laughs> I had like 11% battery. I was like, oh no, oh no. I was like, what do I do? Because if my phone dies, I literally have no way to know what time it is. And I still have to go to work. But if I can't get out of my garage, then how am I gonna go to work? Thankfully, it's back on. But also, another reason why I hate snakes. So today was Barbie day at work and I'm kind of obsessed with my makeup today, honestly. Like, I never put in this much effort. I never do eyeshadow. I never do lashes. I always have lips. But, she cute today. And then, of course, you know, I had to do the Barbie high pony because you just got to. Wilson. He is now cleared by the doctor to uh, go on walks for like five to ten minutes a day as his physical therapy. And then eventually we'll walk up to like 25 minutes. God, he's so strong. He's still, even with a bad knee, pulling me like crazy. Dear Jesus, Wilson, chill out. Sunday. I just want to say in advance, I'm sorry for the quality of this vlog. It's been kind of like jumpy from day to day, but today I just went and got my nails done and I'm really obsessed with how they look. They look so good. Um, anyways, like I said, I'm sorry for how this vlog has been. It's been one of those weeks where it's just like there hasn't been a lot going on and Wilson just ran behind me with a stick in his mouth. Anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week. Um, next week's going to be a little bit better as far as vlogs go. I'll make a conscious effort to be better about that. But anyways, like I said, for the third time, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you all next week on the next vlog. If y'all liked this one, um, like and subscribe. If not, that's honestly, I totally get it. This week has been kind of just like blah.